hour or so. I thought, I thought our response was was really good. Uh, the collective attitude, the the ability to stay in the game against us, uh, I must say, a really really good team. Uh, probably as good a team as we played this year. Um, they really test you from a, a defensive perspective, and um, yeah, they've got some some really good players. But our lads stuck at it. I thought second half actually started quite well. Um, but then the, the third goal was on the on the on the transition and and that killed the game. But first off, we were, we were probably a bit too maybe not as good on the ball as we'd like to be. A bit driven back and um, and, and yeah, we probably found it you know too hard for us first half. But uh, yeah, the second half was a lot of positives and we can move forward. You obviously changed things quite an interesting lineup tactically. Do you think that didn't work as you wished, or was it more sort of individual? magic I suppose well no I mean it's always a bit of everything I think um, we tried to get uh, Tariq a bit higher to use his pace it's it's hard to play against Manchester United in this moment of form and uh, try to use Aaron and, and, and Tariq to try to stretch their back four but we, we like I said we, we probably didn't do well enough with the ball ourselves to maintain long enough attacks or when we did we just missed that final pass to really affect them uh, we had a couple of moments, but probably not enough. And then they they keep the ball well, and they've got some good width and they great movement in in, in their forward position. So sometimes you have to hold your hands up to the the, the opposition who were better today um, and deserve to win the game. Did you see Leandro as one of the Leo was one of the bright sparks of that, that evening? Yeah, I thought him him and, and Neil came on and, and did really well. Um, and like I said, I was happy with the team response second half as well because we knew we were in a, a tough situation. We knew we were playing against a good team. Um, so, and again, we didn't go under after after the third one. So it was, um, yeah, we have to we have to take it on the chin. It's uh, it is what it is. We have to move forward. Do you think the fact you didn't go under and you came back will help you building because that's a big game on Saturday now at Norwich, isn't it? Will that help you in your preparation and the sort of morale going into that? Yeah, there's no word. I, I didn't want the boys to be down after that. But like I said, I think um, Manchester United were as good as anybody we've played this year and um, they were a top team and they played that way. Uh, we can always do things better ourselves and that includes me. So we'll, we'll, we'll learn from that um, from that this evening. But the attitude of the players, the fight for the players, the, the the quality of times. I thought we could have got a goal. I thought we, we we had some opportunities. It's not so easy to create those against a, a good team. So no, there's, there were positives there, and I'm I'm as happy as I can be with a three 0 defeat. Andy, do you want to jump in? Yeah, um, Graham. I guess was that the best aspect of it from your point of view? Because when the third one went in, you'd actually started the second half. Uh, quite positively, didn't you? And, and then the third one goes in. There's still, I don't know, at that stage, what uh, more than half an hour of play. The three, three nil. It really, really could have got a bit <clears throat> away from you. Didn't you? Yeah, and that's always the concern when you're playing against um, the, the teams. You always feel that you're really on the stretch. You, you can try and press them and put some pressure on, but they've just got such quality that they can play through you. Um, having said that, I thought we won the ball back a lot second half, and I agree. I thought we started the second half well. Um, it was our set play actually, and then it's a, 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 a sort of a, a, a knockdown for them, and, we, and they've it's a blistering counter attack, which we we knew that they were very, you know, we know they're very good at. So um, yeah, it, it is, you know, we're, we're we're disappointed of course, and we can't we can't let it affect us too much. We've got to dust ourselves down and, and get ready for Saturday. What was sort of what was the message at half time? I don't know. Were you perhaps a bit too passive first half? Well, yeah, but again, it's uh, it's not so easy to get that pressure on. We tried to, and we had an idea about how to, but in the end, they, they were probably a little bit too good. Their movement, like I said, in Rashford and, and Shaw down the left, were, were, were I thought their movement was good. And then Fernandez, uh, he was uh, causing a, a problem behind our midfield. So lots of things in the opposition. Um, yeah, like I said, we can always do things uh, a little bit better, but um, you, you have to credit the opposition as well. Um, and, and like I said, because we didn't have a long enough attacks ourselves, I didn't think we were as good as we can be with the ball ourselves. Then the ball turns over. We, whatever moments we had, it probably weren't enough to to really put any you know real pressure that we'd like on a on a really good team. Okay, James Cooper, Graham. A, a lot of teams' heads would have dropped. Does that give you kind of the belief and the confidence that your players have got a little bit extra and that you know you'll be looking up rather than down with the remaining games of the season? Yeah, I, I really liked our personality. Th- 
especially through the second half. I, I wouldn't be too down on the boys in the first half either because I just think that the Manchester United came out of it in a good moment, came out really well and, and pushed us back with their quality players. Um, if you look at player for player, you know, there's a difference. There's no hiding from that. Um, but but I thought the personality of our guys, the 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 effort, the the intent was there. Um, like I said, I think we had shots on goal. De Gea makes a, you know some some saves, but at the same time, you're always on the stretch against them because they've got that quality and they've got that speed and power um, and also intelligence. So they've got a, the mix of everything. And uh, like I said, we congratulate them for the win because they deserved it. But but we have to take the positives ourselves, and um, we will. But from a coaching point of view, though, what's changed? Because the personnel on their side hasn't changed too much. I mean, that they were well beaten in their last two visits to the Amex. Uh, so, what, so what's what's different about them to get the compliments they're getting from you? Well, I, I can't comment too much on, on on what they were like last year. All I know is I think Fernandez has made a big difference to them in terms of the, the balance of their midfield. You know, Matic, Popper and, and and him in the field, nice balance. I think they 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 Matic gives them control in terms of building with the back three and it pushes the full backs on so you've got real good width and then the front three come in and cause you a problem with, with Fernandez. So um like I said before the game, I think they've got a good balance and sometimes wins and results and uh, momentum is, is is powerful. Thanks, James. Matt Nash. Hi Graham. Hi Matt. Hi yeah. Uh, um is it is it hard to be despondent on a night like this when you sometimes you just come across a team who are so bang in form and, and are playing so well that, that you you just kind of have to take it on the chin. Yeah, I, I, uh, yes, I think so. I mean, um, like I said, we we always have to look to ourselves to see how we can improve. But at the same time, um, I don't think we've played against a side as good as we've played uh, t- tonight. Um, they were, you know, really really good. You know. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a sterile environment. There's no crowd, so we haven't got that little thing to to, to get behind and destabilise things. You're playing against top top players, so um, no, there's no despondency from our perspective. We're not down. We're we're disappointed to lose, of course, but um, the boys stuck at it. The, the boys showed the fight. They showed some quality as well, and we have to maintain that to to finish off the next six games. Okay, thanks, Matt. Um, last one for Joseph Graham. Um, that second half performance, does that? what do you learn from that ahead of the games against Liverpool and Manchester City? Because they're going to be somewhat similar games, won't they? So this would be a good learning experience for your team. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I put Manchester United in that category at the moment in terms of the form, in terms of the confidence. Um, for us, we focus on the next match, which is Norwich. Um, that's, that's the most important one for us we, because it's our next game. So we have to recover from this. We'll learn, of course. Um, like I said, you're always on the stretch against these top teams. Um, you don't have to get too much wrong and they can hurt you and they can punish you. But like I said, I thought the spirit was there for us um, and there was some good play. So we have to just take it. It's not nice to lose, but we have to move forward quickly. Brilliant. That's it, everyone. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Thank you, Graham.